Facebook, man. Somebody posted this. I even tried to do this, but I didn't get to, I didn't get past the interview part. It says the pros and cons of different career fields. We, I'm gonna try to do this more as we keep moving forward. Different career fields. I say they say they're hiring to be a firefighter. And uh, we, the pros and cons, some of the ones I saw when I was, know people that do it is uh, it's like room to grow. It's not like a ceiling job. Like you start off as a firefighter, you can get stuck there. But you can always grow from being like a regular firefighter to, you know, I guess you'd be like a sergeant, a battalion chief, an engineer, you know, just different little stuff like that you can grow to. Uh, like I say, exposure to different positions, retirement pension. I think they still do that, retirement pension. And then the, the schedule, you work one day off two days, unless you're working overtime. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that, bro? You, you know any more pros of being a firefighter people don't know about? Uh, no, I don't really know too much about them. And, dude, you can start. I mean, if you don't want to go to college, but you still want to learn, you can do that at, like, 18 and be a firefighter, and you can just grow. You can just work there and retire yeah. when you get old enough, I guess. You have a pension and everything. And you go to school. when You're only working one day off two days. So you're only working so much, so many days a month. And First then the cons. Yeah, then the cons. Uh, 24 hour shift. Like when I think when you go to work there, you work there the whole day. Like you may start yeah. at seven in the morning. You ain't gonna get off to the next day, seven in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You got even got uh bunks and stuff and you know, uh sleeping quarters and stuff like that. You think yeah. you work holiday if your day fall on a holiday or weekend, you working that day unless you're taking off working holidays or weekend. Yeah. And then the exposure to things, right? Being a first responder. They call you to the scene. You don't know really know what you're coming to. You may hear it on the radio, but they might not paint the picture right. You know what I'm saying? We got an incident on so-and-so street, two individuals involved. That's all you get. And you go out there, man, you know, brains on the street. You know they get my house and some Yeah, another dude, arm hanging off of him because he got hit with the gauge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, uh, and then you know what about on the freeway? You know you get called to the freeway, accident on the freeway, and it's such a bad accident. Everybody, you know, passed away in the car. Everybody dead in the car. You walk up on that, you see death. You know, everybody can't handle that mentally. You know what I'm saying? Then you still try. You still got to go home and go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So boy, that's something to think about too. You got to be mentally ready for that kind of job. It's not ain't nothing to play with because you're playing with life and death. You know what I'm saying? So, but let us know in the comments. Any other pros and cons about being a firefighter that people don't know about, but definitely something to start when you're young. Don't wait till you get older. Also, before I move on, um, when you do the, the physical test, you got to be in shape. You got to be in some kind of shape. Do not, I'm going to say, do not do that if you're not in shape. You won't make it. I promise you, you won't make it. When I did it that day, <laughs> I was going to the field running with the weight vest on, man, trying to get ready for it. And I think what got me through it was the wheel. <laughs> the eye of a tiger what got me through because I wasn't I wasn't in the greatest shape. But let me tell you something. It be dudes that work out for it and they still fail because of all the stuff they have you doing. And the things that I saw that, that was getting dudes was um, you got to carry a hose pack that's probably like a 70 or 100 pounds. Up like five flight of stairs. Then you got to walk back down the five flight of stairs after you've done most of the course. And um, you may think you're strong. You may think that you could do it. But if you ain't in shape, you ain't going to do it. Because I seen one dude, man, he was like uh, one of those uh, overachiever kind of dudes. He was like, man, I got to pass this test, man. I got to be a firefighter. He got all the way to that part. and. I think his his legs failed on him, bro. He I think he stopped like halfway up, like the third flight of stairs, man. His body just kind of failed on him, man. He was just mad, man. You just hear him screaming because he wanted to finish. But bro, that physical test, man, you got to be ready for that. Make sure you work out because that'll wear you out. 